the fun back in fashion, I say. Who am I, you ask? <laughs> I'm Leslie from FashionTribes.com, and this week on Daily Dose of Style, we're looking at the spring 2010 runways, in particular one really interesting trend we're calling futuristic chic. We've spent the week looking at different ways to wear it at work, off duty, <laughs> playing the part of fashionista. And today, like, there are some really cool looks if you have some big gala events coming up. Black tie, um, you know, red carpet. And what I really liked about them was this sort of veering off into fantasy and not quite so serious. And I would have to say, <laughs> The number one cool collection for not taking itself so seriously, as you know fashion has a way of taking itself way too seriously, is Victor and Rolf. <laughs> Feast your eyes on this fabulous gown. They were so funny, they said, well, people were cutting costs, so we decided to cut the clothes, and they did. They took, like, this ball gown with its layers and layers and layers, that's like a gazillion layers of tulle, and they took took at it with a chainsaw. <laughs> Cut right through it. Almost like you would like prune a hedge. It's very funny. I mean it totally put a smile on my face. I thought it was so cute. And wouldn't this be fun to, to wear? Yes, it's a gown. <laughs> but they didn't say you couldn't have fun. So bravo Victor and Rolf. Alternatively, Martin Margiela. Now, editors hated this particular collection. It was uneven. It's weird. Is Martin Margiela even designing his collection? What's going on? I mean, lots of scandal and buzz around the collection. But for evening, I mean, A, like green. Green is just fabulous. Like, you will stand out in the sea of black. In green, it's got the sort of superhero costumey shoulders. And in the last century, actually, when they did a lot of, like, play outfits, um, in the 50s and 40s, you used to see a lot of like little shorts with skirts over. This kind of has that feel. In this case, if you've got the legs, like, you know, why not? <laughs> Go for it. And you've got the green sort of cape trailing behind you. So it'd just be, you know, then stick your tongue firmly in cheek and off you go. Now, uh, Comme des Garçons is always more serious. I mean, it seems very serious. And again, this emphasis on the shoulder with a leather shoulder harness and kind of an odd mishmash of fabrics, almost very survivalist chic. Again, shorter in the front and long train in the back. You got the legs, go for it. If not, drag out the tights. <laughs> I got the tights and you'll be set. Now, Marc Jacobs for Louis Vuitton, I don't know, it's an interesting look in that it's kind of wrong in a way, like the hair, just sort of the, the weird loose layers, but at the same time there's something youthful about it, it's almost careless looking. And my takeaway would be, I don't know necessarily I would wear this at a gala event, but the takeaway would be like, sort of the more Michelle Obama approach. She doesn't take herself quite so seriously. It's a little looser, a little more comfortable. And you know, if you want to wear like a big wig, go for it. <laughs> and lastly, Alexander McQueen. Again, he, for this collection, is very concerned about the melting ice caps, like what happens when they're gone. We evolved from sea creatures and these clothes ask, are we headed back in that direction? And if we're gonna wear this, <laughs> The only thing I can say about this outfit, to do it justice, is to quote Wayne and Garth, as in, Mr. McQueen, we're not worthy. <laughs> we're not worthy. Hey, it's Audrey from Mom Generation. So today is our futuristic gala dress wear. Now I had a lot of fun with this one. I really wanted to play off of Leslie's picks for the futuristic gala dress wear and really have some fun with turning them into some modern day dresses. So when I saw Leslie's picks, I saw a lot of color, I saw a lot of uniqueness, and I also saw, I saw some skin in the appropriate places. So I really wanted to find dresses that did, that pulled all those things together, but really are types of dresses that you can and would wear to a modern day gala event. So right away, I thought Donna Karen. I mean, nobody dresses a woman more beautifully, more elegantly than Donna Karen. So I found a really long olive green draped dress and I also found, you know, a little black dress for a gala event. I mean, what's better? But Donna Karen, again, the draping of, of this little black dress is just perfection. She just knows how to curve, shape, hug, address a woman's body 
to again to perfection. So I had to bring her in not only because I loved her but I worked for her too. I also saw asymmetrical dresses. I mean these are some fun dresses that Leslie picked. So I wanted to bring that fun and that uniqueness also into that modern day feel. So I found this great um, from Justin, an asymmetrical drape dress. And I also found two from La Petite, this raspberry, I'm looking at my computer right now, this raspberry cotton dress, which I just think, you know, to add some color in, it just gives that, that feel of fun, but also pulling from that futuristic feel that Leslie had in her picks. I also chose two the one shoulder dresses because Michelle Obama has made them so hot right now and there were some missing pieces to even like the Victor and Rolf dress that Leslie chose so I wanted to bring in like the one shoulder also some banded dresses so I found this bandage dress from KarenMillen.com gorgeous also different unique and again the one shoulder which I wanted to get back to from BCBG that really soft pink bubble bottom Again, really like attention-grabbing dresses that still have that sexy modern feel, but really are pulling from those futuristic attributes that I felt in Leslie's picks. And then my number one, my first dress that I really found and needed to put up was that gorgeous orange dress from Vivian Westwood. I mean, how amazing is this? I really felt, again, it played off with that Victor and Rolf dress with the color and just have a lot of fun. I mean, you could go to any gala event and you will be the center of attention in this dress. So these are my picks for modern day futuristic gala dress wear.